GNAC Top Plays begins at Swan Guard Stadium, where Western Oregon football visited Simon Fraser. First quarter, and Omari Land opened scoring with this 18-yard touchdown run, part of 101 rushing yards on the afternoon. Later in the quarter, the high snap is run down by Joey Sinclair, and no one will catch him. He runs it back 47 yards to the house for the 14-0 lead. The Wolves lead 21-0 when the Klan got on the board in the second quarter on this 9-yard reception from Brandon Nixish to Ryzen John. Later in the second, it is Ty Curry finding Nico Jackson for the 22-yard touchdown reception up the middle and the 28-7 halftime lead. The defense opened scoring in the second half. Jalen Parnell jars the ball loose, and E.J. Hag brings it back 15 yards for the score. To the fourth, and Curry goes long to connect with Thomas Wright for this 48-yard scoring pass. The Wolves roll to the 45-14 win over the Klan. From the gridiron to the hardwood, as Western Washington Volleyball hosted Montana State Billings. Aliaga over the Gutterman, and she hit Halborn. Aliaga over the Harper, and Harper puts it away. Two kills for Harper. Heilborn right there, Aliaga over the Harper, who pushes it into the back corner. Come away with this first set. Montana State Billings trying to steal the first set on Harper. Sean Church on the call. The Vikings make it four straight wins with a three-set sweep of the Yellow Jackets. In the Willamette Valley, Western Oregon hosted St. Martin's. First set, and Ali Spears spot on with the serve, and Allison Crisp spot on with the solo block. Speaking of blocking, Delaney Smith and Lauren Smith come up with a solid block assist on the far side. Later in the set, good passing sets Lauren Smith up for one of her team leading 15 kills, and Lauren is good again in the fourth set as the Wolves score the four set win over the Saints. Alyssa Tomasini doing her part to help Western Oregon gain a GNAC Championships berth at Simon Fraser. 15th minute, and she connects from long range and top shelf for the 1 0 lead. To the 28th minute, the corner kick from Celine Conan and Tomasini in front of the net to rattle it home. Western led 2 1 in the 64th when it was Tomasini with the back pass and the assist to Conan. Wolves locked their ticket to Seattle with the 3 1 win. In Ellensburg, Central Washington trying to get closer to a postseason berth against Concordia. Oh, got in into the box. Lots of contact. Divine! Yeah! Caleb Dunlop with the call as the Page Divine goal was all the Wildcats needed for the 1 0 win. Northwest Nazarene men went overtime with St. Martin's, and it is the set piece for the last second winner. Brayden Anderson nets it with one second left in the first overtime period, and that secures the 4 3 win. No last second heroics needed for the Nighthawks against Concordia on Saturday. Five minutes into the match, and crisp passing by Anderson and Grant Larson opens up Jake Levine for the opening goal. To the 73rd, to the soccer equivalent of the fast break with Brandon Parcio finding Dominic Abdel Adhad for the header. Seven minutes later, it was Levine closing out on Parcio's second assist of the day. Nighthawks roll 3-1. Brandon Madsen continues to lead St. Martins. In the 86 against Montana State Billings, he goes up and over for the goal for the tied match. In overtime, Isaac Hernandez with the long pass to Madsen in front of the box and you got it, the Saints with the 2-1 golden goal win. Western Washington gave Seattle Pacific all kinds of Halloween night jitters. Four minutes in, it was Christian Ronner finding Ryan Schaefer for the opening goal. To the 25th, George Chalib on a free kick and Cameron Miller with the header and the goal. To the second half, and Rotter finds his way through the defense to find Johan Espinoza, who strikes it home for the 3-0 lead. In the 73rd, Alex Whiting closes it off with the assist from Ryan Schaefer. Vikings four, Falcons nothing. Western Washington women found themselves tied 1-1 with Concordia until just before time expired. Into the box, right side chip and a score by Levente. Todd Pickett on the call of the Stara Levinci's game winner for the Vikings 2-1. Two nights later, the Vikings looking to clinch the regular season title against Northwest Nazarene. To the 23rd minute, and Diana Diaz opens the scoring off the assist from Darby Doyle. To the 41st, and Alice Hebert beats the defender to the ball and nets the goal. The Vikings led 2-0 at half before Doyle finished it off in the second. Here she converts on this roller from Carly White in the 69th minute. Ten minutes later, she did it all herself, collecting the corner kick for the goal. The Vikings clinched the trophy with a 4-0 shutout. 
That's it for GNAC Top Plays. I'm Blake Tim. We'll see you next time.